Hey, my friends, I want to welcome you back to another Residual Hustler Amazon video. My name is Tom Young, also known as the Residual Hustler. And what I do here on this channel, one of the main things that I do is I teach you how to profit through selling on Amazon FBA. So if this is the kind of thing that you like, I'm going to encourage you to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification and uh, help me out so that others can see this as well uh, today's video is going to be five products that are fast selling for me that i find and i find these uh, in many different places uh, one of my favorite places is grocery outlets so i'll look there there's one in my area that just opened up and i went in there and i started to source it and discovered some nice products so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over with you these five products uh that sell pretty quickly for me and if for some reason you are gated and you cannot sell these products at the end of the video i'm going to show you how to get ungated uh and something that i've created for everyone to help them process that i've gone through to get ungated so let's dive in and I'm, I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the product and then I'm going to do a screen share with my phone and I'm going to show you uh, the details of the product. Okay. So the first one here is tea. This is good earth tea. Okay. Now tea sells very, very well. I, all, all different kinds of tea. There's another tea called typhoon. Uh, but this one here, I'm able to source consistently at different grocery stores and I'm able to find the product at a decent price. So I'm going to show you what, what I pay and we're going to go into uh, my screen share here. Okay, so now we're on my phone and you can see it's the very top product right here. I had this saved in the favorites of my uh, Amazon seller app. Now you can see right now it's ranked at 3,785 in grocery. The reviews are awesome, 2,800 reviews. You can see on Amazon right now, it's selling for 1437. Amazon has it listed at 20. I usually am higher than that. But when I click on the 1437, when I click on that, it takes me to the next page where it shows my profit. Now I paid $8 for this. You can see it right here profit is $1.55. Now I'm normally at around the $18 mark in between the low and Amazon. So when I punch in my 18, oop, I'd see 8.00. I'm at $3.63 each. And this is a consistent seller for me. I sell a lot of these a month. If you can source them for around eight dollars and find them yourself, you're 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 gonna make some money. You're, you're definitely gonna make some money. You definitely want to make sure that you look at the expiration date, which on this product can be kind of hard to see. It's actually it's actually right here. Now you won't be able to see it on camera, but if you find this product, you want to look there and you want to make sure that you are at least 120 days out when you when you purchase this product to send them now the next item uh it's a lot of you have seen the newman's barbecue sauce now there's actually four different versions of this that i purchased um this is a glass bottle so you're going to need to to bubble wrap this and we're going to do a screen share and i'm going to share my screen and show you what we're looking at here now that's this one right here now this is also in the grocery category and you can see it's got a 40,000 rank the reviews 65 reviews which is awesome now if you look here this is a pack of three so three of these together is what makes up the one product so when i click on uh the 2696 again you can see right here the amazon fees my cost to ship it in amazon which i base roughly on about 50 cents a pound my cost for the three is six dollars okay so that means that i'm paying two dollars each for these so two four six and then you can see my profit is nine dollars and 37 cents so that is one to definitely look out for 
The next one that is Newman's is it's the the Caesar version right there. Okay. Now we're gonna dive into the screen. I'll show you what that looks like. That's this one here. You can see in grocery it's ranked 122,000. It's got four reviews. $13 is what it's selling for Amazon fees and the profit. So if I click on that, you can see the Amazon fees. You can see here again my cost is two dollars. So four dollars and seventy-eight cents is what I'm profiting. And this is just based off of one. Just just one of these right here. Okay. So the next one, which is again new men's remember there's four different versions, is the ranch version right here. And let's share the screen. We'll show you what the ranch looks like. 178,000 in grocery. Now this this is a little high. I like to stay under 150,000, but uh there's nice profit on this. It's got the four reviews. So if we click on this, we're going to see that this particular one, again my cost of $2 right there, and you can see profit $6.60 on this particular one right here. And then let me share and show you the next one here. The last one for the Newman's is the sweet and spicy right there. This is glass. Be careful of this. This one you have to definitely uh, bubble wrap as well. So let's go into this one. Now, okay, now check this out. 126000 in grocery, 14 reviews, and there's nothing showing here, right here. Uh, but still click on this anyway. So when I click on this, now it shows me the, the uh, FBA fees. Again, my cost of $2. And right here, my profit is $5 for each one. This is just for one right here. So this, again, this one happens to be glass. So I have to uh, bubble wrap it and put it in a... Uh, poly mailer is what I do and then put my sticker on top of that so the next item we're going to look at is the Maxwell House coffee any kind of coffee like this sells very very well this is a 12 pack of the K cups I sell the Maxwell House product uh, with the the K cups I sell the regular uh, bean version. I sell a lot of the regular ground version in the cups. So let's dive into the screenshot here and I'll show you the numbers for that one. Okay, here we are right here. 44,000 in grocery. The reviews, 262 reviews now you can see this is eight dollars and 40 cents amazon fees there's 17 fba sellers on the listing so i'm going to click on it and amazon selling fee ship to send it in my cost is three dollars right here now i normally don't like to go below roughly a dollar fifty or so uh profit but on this one because it sells consistently and i sell roughly 30 to 40 or more of these if i can find them at the right price uh, a month then i will sell them i mean you're looking at roughly oh probably about 45 to 50 dollars a month in profit just from this one product that sells very very consistently now the next product here is the tom's deodorant this is what it looks like and tom's of maine wicked cool deodorant now this one i actually found at a grocery discount store uh, a little small general store only one location it's actually near me and they had these for about two dollars each and selling them for roughly ten dollars when i i'm going to show you my screen share here and for some reason uh, it's not popping up uh, pricing but my profit on each one of these is roughly four dollars and fifty cents 
and 158,000 in beauty. And look at the reviews. Now, this is a little bit high in beauty for me. Again, I like to stay under 150, but I look at the reviews and there's 268 reviews, which tells me that there's this is being ordered many, many times over to have that many reviews. And when I click on um when I click on sell eligibility, it says here that I can sell it in new condition right here. Now I will tell you that during the time of this video, May 26, this is considered a meltable product. Uh, you cannot send it in to Amazon FBA because it is meltable. So this one I merchant fulfill. I listed it, but I just keep it here at home. I've got a bunch on my shelf up there uh, that I bought and when one uh, sells I just ship it out because it is considered a meltable product all right now the last one are crackers Milton's craft bakers crackers this is this is a big one this weighs 24 ounces and it's it's a big box right here and I'm going to show you what the numbers are on this one this one I found at a grocery outlet near my house as well so you can see right here it's 19,000 in grocery which i love it's got 158 reviews which is awesome and you can see it's selling for 19 dollars 68 so when i click on that you can see my cost is eight dollars and my profit on each is two dollars and 73 cents so this is a consistent seller with the very very good rank the 158 reviews and sells consistently for me if i click on uh, you can see amazon is not on the listing there are 13 other fba sellers on this one uh, and what's the highest highest price is 30 bucks uh 25 24 so it goes down a little bit but i actually use a repricer called be cool and it helps to uh, you know, keep me above my my margin where I want to be. So this is one. If you see this out at all, you definitely want to pick this up. Uh, Two dollars and seventy three cents is the profit on each one. So you'll notice that these five products that sell very well for me are in the grocery and beauty category. These are categories that I am ungated in. And I sell, last month I did a little over $10,000 in sales and about $7,000 of that was from the grocery category uh, and health and beauty. Um, it's a very, very hot, they're very, very hot categories to sell in. And I created some guides to help you guys uh, go and get ungated in these categories. Uh, and in some of these brands and and, I, and the one guy I created was a guide to get in grocery and or get engaged in grocery topical and OTC and gross grocery are all these items that I showed you here uh, topical is something like this right here which is sunscreen uh, topical is also something else here like I've got the the dove uh, what is that that's the uh the shampoo uh axe shampoo things like that that is the topical uh otc is over the counter medications so things like theraflu right here is considered otc and you can see i have all these packaged up like this because i actually purchased these from a wholesaler uh and either create bundles or uh, sell them you know one at a time something else i get is i get my my colgate uh you can see toothpaste in, in packs like this and then i'll either sell them like this or i'll sell them individually but the in the in the ungating guide you these products here help you get ungated and able to sell in three and like in the grocery category uh the topical and the otc but to give you an example when you uh you have to submit invoices to amazon uh, with these ungating guides and i'll show you how to do that but when you do that the brand dove so when you use this as an example to get ungated uh through the guide you actually get ungated in the topical 
uh, category and also in the brand dub. So it's kind of like killing two birds with one stone. When you use, you know, something like this, the axe, you know, you can use this to get ungated in topicals and also ungated in the brand axe, which is pretty cool. The same thing with the brand Colgate and then the same thing with the brand Theraflu. So you're kind of, it's kind of like a, you know, like a double hit. You get ungated in that category and then you get ungated in the brand for each one. So I've got links uh, that uh, in the description that I'll have here, but I, out, I have these on my website. So I'll show you this real quick. The website is residualhustler.com. And when you click on the Amazon on getting guides right here, you'll see this is it right here. Grocery topical and OTC, uh, over 3,000 products like what I just showed you to get ungated, and then you click on here to learn more. Um, side subject, I just created one that I just finished myself for the toy category uh, with Christmas coming up at, you know, in December, the end of this year. This is where you can actually get ungated to sell things like Star Wars, uh, Lego, and a lot of the major, major brands. The next one I'm working on uh, is Nike, Adidas, and Under Armour is the guy that I'm working on right now. But you can go to residualhustler.com, and this is the home screen, and you just click on Amazon Ungating Guides, and then you'll see the information there uh, to, uh, to check out. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, I do have a Facebook group uh, where I actually share... A lot of these products now this is just five out of hundreds of products that I find and sell and while I'm out sourcing I actually post in my Facebook group uh, it's a bolo group I post in there uh, the products that I'm buying so other people in the group can go find those at their local stores whether it's you know from East Coast to West Coast and go and find those products see if they're profitable for themselves as well uh, and then it opens up more categories, more brands. Uh, it opens up a whole, you know, just a plethora of things to, to sell on Amazon that you may not have thought of. So the link for that I'll also put in the description below. Uh, it's also residualhustlerbologroup.com, which is also can be found through the residualhustler.com website. But I'll link to that as well. If you guys have any interest in uh, looking at that and getting the leads, what I do is actually... Every single Monday morning, I post uh, a leads list in the group. And I always say it's a minimum of 100 leads, but it always ends up being 150 leads or more every morning. Uh, sometimes it's a, it's been as high as 250 leads on that Monday morning. And then you just click through that list, see what you like, and uh, you can like buy it from, say, Target sell it on Amazon. Either you go to Target or you buy on Target.com and have it delivered. Uh, so very, very easy to use. And it's been very helpful with growing my business, especially with the grocery category and, and hitting over, over 10,000 last month. So if you like this kind of content, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, my name is Tom Young, the Residual Hustler, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good one.